Hey boo-boos, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to come on here and talk to you guys about a brand, a makeup brand that not a lot of people mention nowadays. This is one of the brands that it's it's very old <laughs> and ever since i could remember i've um heard of it <laughs> so yeah first i want to tell you guys that i will be having a tutorial up on the look that i'm wearing today soon on my channel so if you want to see it whenever it's live go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel the brand uh, that i'm talking about is mary Kay. Not a lot of people talk about it nowadays. I feel like it's one of the brands that when people hear it, they're like, hmm, I'm not gonna mess with it, or hmm, I don't, I'm not really into it, or whatever, because I was like that. Um, now, I'm not here to push Mary Kay for y'all to go ahead and buy it or anything. I just wanna talk to you guys a little bit about it because I recently purchased a couple things and I fell in love with a couple things. So I wanted to share that with you because who wears Mary Kay nowadays? I mean, when I heard it, I was like, hmm, I'm not, I'll pass. But I decided to give it a try because one of my coworkers started her business with Mary Kay and um, I wanted to check it out. I mean, it's makeup and I've never really owned any Mary Kay products, so I can't really talk bad about it. But the only thing I've owned is actually eyeshadow primer and I still have it, <laughs> but um, that was given to me. So it's not like I purchased it or anything. I have never really looked into purchasing Mary Kay products until now. And I've learned that they have pretty amazing things. Um, I really, really do like them, and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I would have, uh, I wouldn't have known about these if my coworker didn't start her business with them. And yeah, there's a couple of things that I didn't really care for, and I will let you guys know what it is. But first, I'm gonna start with the things that I did like and um that i think you guys might like as well the first thing that i have here i just got it on tuesday or wednesday tuesday um i had went to one of the glamour makeover parties that my co-worker hosted they were starting to do the makeup um they obviously gave us a little cotton with makeup remover. So first of all, I'd like to say I didn't have any eye makeup on. I hadn't wore makeup for about three days maybe. So I hadn't wore makeup for a while. Started cleaning my eyes and oh my gosh, you guys, this makeup remover is amazing like i told you look this is what it looks like like i told you i wasn't wearing any makeup i hadn't worn makeup for three days but somehow this baby took off like stuff from my eyes i don't know if it was like like dirt from like the air i don't know if it was like leftover mascara but this baby worked amazing i instantly fell in love with it and i was like I'm gonna get that. Also, what I like about this is that it um, doesn't burn your eyes like other makeup removers or makeup wipes do. So yeah, it's amazing. It takes off waterproof makeup as well, and it just cleans your eyes really, really good. And I'll go ahead and put the name of the stuff down in the description box, as well as um, how much it was. That way you guys can check it out if you want. And I'm also gonna leave uh, the link to her online website. So if you guys wanna order anything, you guys can definitely order. Let her know Heidi sent her you to her if you're going to order, okay? okay okay so the next thing that i also got on tuesday that i was like not wanting to buy anything but i ended up getting things so um i got this blush and this is what the blush looks like and look at how pretty that is this has like an iridescent i don't know like glow like 
gold glow it looks so pretty like let me swatch it it's just so pretty look at that but yeah i was putting it on my cheeks that day and i fell in love with it and i was like i have to get that blush the next thing that i absolutely love is their american mineral foundation powder and it's just a loose powder and i have this on today and this sets my makeup so so good i absolutely love it um it's awesome i'm usually not a loose powder type of girl but lately i've been loving it so yeah and this is just in the color beige too and it works good i have it on today and it sets my makeup really really good i also bought the time wise matte wear liquid foundation and basically this is their matte full coverage foundation um i don't know if you guys know but if you don't then i'm telling you guys right now i absolutely love full coverage foundation i need to have full coverage foundation all my foundations are full coverage and they're all matte they're all for oily skin because i hate i have like combination skin sometimes i'm oily sometimes i'm not so yeah all my foundations are matte i have in the color beige 5 and beige 6. beige 5 was a little bit too light just a tad bit i could have wore it and then beige 6 had or was a little bit too dark which just a tad bit i could have you know wore this as well if i would have just bought one or the other but i ended up buying both of them because mixed together they are perfect and i do have it on today and that's what it looks like and i absolutely love this um foundation however i do have to say it's not my favorite my all-time favorite foundation like i've had like my kat von d foundation is um but I do like um, if you guys want to try their foundation. I tried their CC cream. Not a fan of it. It's not full coverage. And I just feel like it doesn't cover anything. And it could be buildable. But I didn't really like it. So I didn't mess with it. And I asked right away. Do you have. What's your full coverage foundation. And is it matte. They said I have this one. And I was like okay good. I want to try it. And I tried it. And I like it. And I've been wearing it for a couple weeks I have the makeup setting spray and i'm not sure if um partnered up with Scandinavia, but when you order it or you see the booklet it does say uh Scandinavia makeup setting spray so i don't know if this is made by Scandinavia, but if you guys didn't know Scandinavia is a good brand or whatever and i've heard a lot of good things about Scandinavia, so i wanted to give this a try it makes your makeup last a long time and i like it other than the makeup remover i think this is my favorite thing this i have used it non-stop since i bought it every time i do my makeup best belief that i am wearing this and this is the oil mattifier so basically what you do with this you put it on before um you do your makeup and it'll mattify your face um this also claims that if you put it on after you do your makeup while your makeup is already done like if i were to apply it right now that it will not take off your makeup and it will mattify your face so yeah i do have to say about the oil mattifier that i have not tried it after i've done my makeup because i don't need to so it lasts long enough that i do not need to apply it after my makeup is done but i have used it with my primers i mix it with my primers and it makes my makeup last longer um and talking about primers i also bought the mary Kay foundation primer and this has spf of 15. this primer is okay i didn't really think it was uh out of this world primer i mean i've had i have other primers that i think are a little bit better than this it does make your skin feel soft but i feel like all the primers make your skin feel soft so I don't know. <laughs> I am wearing this today and I mixed it with this. I mixed this with all my primers. I also purchased the um, beauty blotter sheets from Mary Kay. They're just like any regular blotting sheets. They're nothing special. So yeah, <laughs> they don't have anything special. So it's not that I don't recommend it. I just, I'm just letting you guys know that they are nothing special. And the primer is okay, nothing special as well. 
Um, another thing that I've tried is their satin hands. I have not bought that yet, but I'm sure I'll buy it soon. But basically, it's just a hand treatment or like mask and lotion type of stuff that leaves your hands smooth like so amazingly smooth and it smells like peaches or you can get with no scent and it's amazing i like it i tried their matte lipsticks i do not like them and it's not like it they have pretty colors and the colors are pretty pigmented however and they are matte which is what i look for in a you know lipstick they don't dry so they do transfer and i hate lipstick that transfers usually all my lipsticks are matte i wouldn't really recommend the lipsticks but if you like a creamy matte pigmented lipstick definitely you can try those they do have some pretty colors um check the website out for those i did win this one this is a cream lipstick and it is very pretty look at that that is such a pretty color however this is a cream lipstick i know it's not going to dry matte ultimate mascara and this is just a little tube of it that came whenever we went to do the glamour makeover facials or whatever and this is the ultimate mascara um the one looks like that the one's pretty amazing this would be amazing if it was waterproof it's not though so but if it was waterproof i would buy this like because this is amazing. I like the one. I want to mention this uh, Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. I did buy this as well. And this is what it looks like. This mascara is amazing. It has short little bristles and long bristles. Um, so you apply it with the short bristles. And then you go back with the long bristles after it dries. And this mascara makes your eyelashes look super, 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 super long so i really do like this mascara i think this is it i just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, mary Kay because i haven't heard a lot of people talk about it or a lot of people um don't like talking about it because it's such an old brand or because like i said um it's just a brand that you hear it and you're just like nah i'm good you know but it is a good brand in my opinion and yeah i do have to put a disclaimer i'm not getting paid to tell you guys about this brand i they didn't send me this stuff you know for free or anything i paid for everything with my own money and this is my honest review about mary Kay. there is some stuff that i like there is some stuff that i didn't like but most of the stuff that I got in, except for the foundation, no, the foundation primer, um, the blotting sheets, um, the lipsticks, I don't really care for them. Like, there is stuff that I don't care for, but there is stuff that I do. So I just want to say, take a chance on Mary Kay, you know, um, buy a couple things, buy one thing, check how you like that, and then go from there. That's how I got into buying stuff because I liked it. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you guys would like to be my friend on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter, you guys can definitely follow me at ibheidi. All the stuff will be linked down below. And like I said, I will put my coworkers information down in the description down below so you guys can take a look. And if you guys want to purchase something, just let her know that I sent you. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.